Welcome back to NCAA Retro Bowl Mania. And as we're nearing the end of the season, we've got our Bearcats taking on East Carolina, the Pirates. So let's get straight to the action. It's another AAC game. And East Carolina is kicking off first. And Cincinnati, the Bearcats, have the ball first. And they're at the 32-yard line. And they're starting off with a positive gain, 16 yards. And they're already at midfield. And as you know, oh, nice run right there by Deo Njoku. As you know, the Bearcats have been struggling. Oh, and it's incomplete right there, and it's a third and four, and they're bringing the house right now. There's a pass over the middle, and it's another first down. Curtis Niang, the wide receiver, with the first down, and Niang is uh, going towards 100 receptions this year as he has 90 coming into the game. And we've got another first down, 24-yard line. And what a pass right there. Oh! And 13 yards right there by Trinity Dallas as he almost gets inside the 10-yard line. Just quick pass, quick out. Seven yards right there to Taylor Peppers. It's going to bring a second and three. And let's see if Foston, what he's looking to do. And there is they're bringing the pressure. Oh, what a pass right there to Curtis Niang. Four yards. As we see the replay, what blocking right there is he had all day to uh, let that one go. And it's already a 6 to nothing game. And let's see what we're going to do here. Going for the two-point conversion. On their brand of heat. Oh! And Taylor Peppers comes over the middle and gets it. And it's an 8 to nothing game over the Pirates. And at the end of the first quarter, our Bearcats are in the lead, 8 to nothing. But ECU is driving on a 13-yard line, and they score. Oh, but they get stopped. And it's an 8-6 to six game right now, second quarter. And let's see what they've got in store. Oh, what a hit right there as Deo and Joku uh, goes back two more yards. It's a pass. Oh, he breaks a tackle. Oh, 15 yards there. Or, yeah. Like Curtis Niang needed 12 and got 15 there. It's a first and 10. Oh, and, and Joku goes for another first down, 11 yards. And once again, they're over in ECU territory, the Pirates. Oh, oh. And Joku. Ran over a couple of defenders there on the way to a 12-yard gain. And this one here is minimal. You got 56 seconds left to go in a quarter. Or until halftime, excuse me. And there's a pass. And Peppers, 13 more yards. And they're in business right now at, let's see, the 18-yard line. 42 seconds left to go. Oh, and he goes out of bounds right there. And it's a second and three. 36 seconds left to go. See what they're going to run right here. And he calls an audible. Oh, and Folston keeps it himself. And he slides, and it's a first down inside the five-yard line. 25 seconds left to go. And let's see with the first down. It's a pass in the corner to Curtis Niang. What perfect placement here. And Niang is eating pretty well so far in the first half. Wow, and they're going for, let's see, a two-point conversion. See what they get from this. Oh! And Folson going to keep it himself. And he gets in. Oh. Looked like he wasn't going to get in. And it's a 16-6 game at the end of the first half. And, yes, it's your Bearcats over the Pirates. 
And wow, so far they're playing an error-free game, but they do have to kick it off to the Pirates. And they're on the move. And they score a touchdown. And a point after is good. And it looks like your Bearcats are up by three right now. And still about 28 seconds left to go in the third quarter. And let's see, it's a first and 10 at their 24-yard line. Oh, and they bring a blitz right there. And Folston with a six-yard carry. Folston has got some wheels, and he's displayed it over the uh, this uh, season. Oh, and gets out of bounds, and nice play. We've got 11, second, 11 seconds, excuse me, to go in the first or the third quarter. And then Joko goes for about three yards. This is going to bring up a third or a second and seven. Excuse me, and here we go. And there's a pass. Then Joku gets 10 more yards and goes to midfield. And folks, we're getting ready to start the fourth quarter. And yes, your Bearcats are on a drive right now, looking to seal things up. And we've got a first and 10. And Njoku's had a pretty good game so far. It's a quick pass. Gets out of bounds. Brings up a second and five. And Folston has been surgically, oh, has been surgically uh, tearing apart this ECU defense. And right now, looks like they're getting ready to bring the heat. About a buck 53 left to go. And it's a third and five. And they bring the heat right here. But I think Folston, he dives ahead for a six-yard uh, carry. And it's a first down. And they're now at the 40-yard line with a minute 41 left to go. And they're bringing the heat right now. And the pass. Nice to Peppers. And Peppers goes for 18 yards. And they're just outside the red zone. It's a first and 10. Let's see what they're going to do here. 22-yard line. And I think Folston is going to run again. And he goes for six more. And the running attack has been great by uh, Njoku and by Folston. And now we've got a second and four. He keeps it again. He's just going to keep the clock running and another seven-yard run. And the clock is running with a, a minute five. And they're going to give it to Njoku. Oh, he breaks a tackle. Oh, but doesn't break the second one. So it looked like if it uh, broke the last one, it would have been a touchdown. Second and goal, 50-some seconds left to go. Here's a pass. Oh, and Peppers wide open for the touchdown. And let's see. All day once again. And right now we've got a 22-13 to game. And they're going to go for... Let's see. The two-point conversion. And they're bringing everybody in the house. And they call an audible. See what they're going to do. Oh! And he got confused and threw it away by mistake. And that one's going to hurt. Let's see. And But that's it. That's it. And yes, your Bearcats. They turn things around and they win. 22 to 13 over East Carolina. And they are showing signs of improvement. But oh no, Taylor Peppers is going to be out for two games as he breaks his, uh, injures his hand. That one's going to be devastating for the team. Let's go straight to the results here and go to the stats. And what do you say? The fans are disappointed in Jake Hosey. He's been very disappointed this whole season. Wow, and Folston, three touchdowns here. Let's go to the individual numbers. 15 to 17 for 145. But look at here, five rushes for 32 yards. Had an average of six yards a carry, six and a half. Big time. And Joku, seven rushes for 34 yards. 
And also two catches for 20. Trinity Dallas, a couple catches. And Curtis Niang, six catches for 47 yards. Holsey, not good. And Arbery, not good. And then we've got Taylor Peppers, who had a decent game, but would be injured for a couple of games. Folks, continue to rock with us. As I told you, it's exciting uh, football action here. And Cincinnati, they're not done yet. I'm telling you, not done yet. So on that note, we're out of here on uh, Retro Bowl Mania, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>